Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Son of Mogurf and we're back on Colony Survival today. There's been an update and as you might have noticed it's allowed me to do a little remodeling. Yeah, there's workshop mods available in Colony Survival now. So I've made some big changes over the last few hours or so and uh, I'm quite happy with it. There's still some issues I need to sort out in the colony but look how much more awesome this place looks now so let me show you let me take you through the changes i've made and then we'll get to sorting out the problems one of the things that i've been working on is the water gathering and the fishing and things like that if i can find where the bloody fishing hole is here it is look so i dug it out a bit and got rid of some of the water so it goes lower and as you can see i've got a lot more fishermen and a lot more water gatherers because that was getting to be a huge issue I've, I, I've caught up now but i'm gonna have to keep my eye on it the fish is still a problem though which is a little irritating but as you can see this is much better because now i've got a lot more space to expand it if i need to on to the other stuff yeah i put fronts on these um, extensions that I made. Look, and there's doors now. The doors don't actually stop the NPCs. I think they just stop me. As you can see, <laughs> like, I can't get through, but now I can. These windows are a workshop mod as well. You can see, look, they look like windows from the outside, but when you come inside, they're transparent. I, th I think that's super duper neat. I think that's awesome. Look. And from the inside, I can see all the way outside. But outside, I can't see in. That's cool. I like that. Now here's all my guys busily working away. I've still got a bit of a flax problem. It's going down much slower than it was, but it's still not awesome. Firewood is doing well thank christ let me just go to the the cooking level here i come up it that's the wrong side that's i i wanted to go out the front bit uh but yeah i was just stood up there and this is some of the modded blocks look i think it's just called wall top and i thought i thought they were a nice addition to the um to this top level here i really like the way these set things out you know i like the windows and let's say the doors are super cool there's tons of other blocks tons and tons and tons of other blocks that i haven't really messed with yet but i'm probably gonna do that you know later all oh, my guys are busy busying let's have a look Okay, we've got lots of wood and lots of planks. We've got lots of copper stuff. I had to sequester some of the workers away from the copper and the iron to get more water gatherers. Because I don't want to... Because these were going up. I mean, look, 15,000 there. We've got 6,000 there. They're still going up instead of down. So that's a good thing. I'm... Still, I still got an issue with this damn silver. I'm not sure what to what to do for the best of it. If we look here, look, we got 100% for perpetual stew, 100% for luxury meal, 100% for cake, 100% for candle, 100% for undershirt, and 100% for wax tablet, 100% for cooked fish, 30 or no, 27% for jewelry, because I can't get enough silver, which is affecting the happiness. Let me have a look. Total daily items, 18.55. So 18 and a half pieces of jewellery a day I need to make. Currently, yeah, I'm making a th about a third of that. Just less. It's actually more like a quarter now that I think about it, yeah. But somewhere between a quarter and a third. And the only thing I can think of doing to improve that is to get more people mining Galena. But as you can see, look, I've got tons of it. Tons and tons of Galena. 
And no bloody silver. It's like super weird with the balance. But I'm going to hire some more and just see if it makes the difference that I need it to. I think the glainer is on the bottom level, is it not? I also need to get a guy mining just straight stone. That's a thing that I need to do. So we've got these guys mining this. There is only two of them, though. How are we doing for saltpeter? Yeah, well, really, really well. But what I'm going to have to do is find a decent spot. Hmm, maybe here. Uh, I'm going to get three more guys and see if it, you know, makes a makes a difference. I need three beds for them. If I just go like this, I can go uh, minor like this. Recruit, fill all jobs. That's more than double the amount of people mining. That should help with the silver situation, which would help with the silver ingot situation, which would help with... Oh, look at all these new blocks, look. God damn. Which would help with the jewellery situation, which will help with the happiness. Hopefully, it makes a significant difference. The problem with hiring more people is it creates more zombies, and it creates... A deficit in the happiness which has to be made up with more resources and you see the fish situation is not fantastic let me just check how we're doing here for the stews these are the main ones daily total items 12 daily total items 44 and a half again I'm not sure how you would give out half of a stew but Somebody's getting like a half bowl. <laughs> Where is the jewellery here? Oh, is it gone off of there? Because it, none's... Yeah, there is none being made. Oh my god, it's night time already. Okay, so I'm going to go up and do my night time murder of the zombies. I've still got a problem with them spawning on the inner loop. Which isn't great. So I'm going to get up there and make sure that doesn't cause a problem. I'll bring you guys back in the morning. And yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, it's morning once again. Here comes all the workers, look. I'm stomping out the, the doors, out the front and the side. So funny to watch them go off to work. There's so many of them as well. We're up to nearly 400 colonists. Which is a you know, thing. That's still coming, look! So many! So very many. I like the way you can see these guys working on this top level as well. I think that's pretty cool. I do like that. You can see the zombies are still uh, marching their way. Where are these ones going? Huh. I don't like the fact that they seem to be going away from the colony rather than towards the loop. Where are they going? Um, that's really interesting. What's going on here? Don't know what that guy thought he was doing, but yeah, some of them look—they're going actually back on themselves instead of going to the front of the colony. Did I make a hole underground or something when I um? What the hell are these guys doing? They're coming under here. They're going through here. Is there a path through here that I've accidentally made? I don't think there is, but, I mean, stranger things have happened. Doesn't look like it. 
They'd go round here. Round here. Hmm. The plot thickens. The mystery deepens or widens or something. They can't get through there because that's only one block high, I think. They'd come through here. Yeah, there's only one block there. Come through here. I'm so curious now. Paranoid. Paranoid is a better word for it. I'm completely, completely paranoid. These ones are actually coming the other way. At some point, these zombies are going to meet each other. If I don't kill them, which I'm about to do. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Is there a route through it? I think if there was a route here, these zombies that were going down there would have gone in there, would they not? I'm kind of confused as to what these zombies think they're doing. It's kind of funny that most of my colony is like floating in the air above a Grand Lake. Also, I've kind of stuck myself under here as well. I mean, what exactly is it that you think you're doing, sir? I don't know. I honestly don't know what's happening there. It doesn't appear to be a problem, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's have a look, see how our resources are going. It's definitely something I need to keep my eye on. Um, we've got enough water, got enough flax. The fish is not great, is it? It's not bad, but it's definitely worse than it was. I used to have like hundreds of these. On the upside, I guess with more fishermen, I am catching more lobster. Because I did for a little while put lobster in the mix here, but I took it back out because I was running out of them. Oh look, still got no silver. But uh, I do have some jewellery in the in the stash, which is better. Let's have a look. Petrol stew, meal, cake. Oh, 100% availability for jewellery. That's nice. That's lovely. I like that. How are we doing for the other stuff? Lots of flour. Lots of barley. I mean, I meant wheat. We've got a little bit of flour. Maybe I could get some more grinders. But I don't really think that's necessary right now. Lots of bread. Lots of cake. We've got enough stews. Yeah, things are going all right. Shirts are doing well, wax tablets, the jewellery is going up, which is fantastical. We're getting a little surplus of candles, which is always good, since I have to make... Is it 384 a day now? Total daily items... Yeah, oh, 374, because that's how many colonists I've got. It's one per colonist per day. It's just... It's kind of ridiculous to me, but... I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. I forgot to look at how many silver ingots we've got. Uh, none. Ammo's looking all right. Wow. Is the colony finally become self-sufficient? Why have these guys not got any of? What was that? They've not got any beeswax. Oh, it was linen. How are they short on linen, exactly? All right, let's go check my tailors. It's kind of weird. I'm used to running in and being here, but now indoors is, is here as well, where I've built these extensions on the side. I like the way it looks. I'm not going to complain too much about it. With an extra big two. 
These guys are making all the goddamn linen in the world. Jesus. What are you guys actually up to? Oh, they're all off to bed as well now. Yeah, I think it was just a temporary blip. The flax is still going down. It's going down so slowly that I'm not really worried about it. We end up with surplus water and fish at the end of each day, which is nice. I'm actually getting a surplus of jewellery at the end of the day as well, which is also fantastic. You know what I haven't done? I haven't been doing any science. What science have we got to do? Um, This, that, this. <laughs> Still haven't done the trader, but... I'm going to do that later once I've set up a second colony somewhere. Yeah, so there's not that much research left to do. I've got enough colonists to do this upgrade, but as I mentioned, I'm going to wait until I've got enough for this one and then do them both together and have a massive extension rather than a little one. God, I turned around and everyone laid down. It was like they were staring at the back of my head. It was waiting for me to look. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go do zombie murder. I'll allocate that science in the morning when they can actually, you know, do it. And, yeah, I'll bring you guys back. I'll do an extra day. I'm having so much fun here. I'm going to do an extra day again. Okay, the sun's about to come up. The colonists are about to go back to work. And time to allocate some science. I think I'm just going to do this for now. Special digger. And I'll go through these in steps. I could do level two, all the level two ones, and then all the level twos and all the level threes and so on and so on. So if I start that, that should be done really, really quickly. Because I've got a bunch of of these bags like already stored up. Let's have a look. Oh, God, the bloody fish. What am I going to do about the bloody fish? The bloody fish are a bloody problem, bloody hell. I don't want to move more people away from away from the copper and the iron, although I could do that. Since they're both still going upwards, I could take one off of each, maybe, and turn them into fishermen. The water is actually starting to go down. That was up to 300, and then it was hovering around 250. Another problem, that I, I could actually make this a little bit easier. Where did the fishing hole go? Why is it that I can never find it? I need to put like a beacon or something up for it. No, I haven't checked as well for ages. The eggs and the chicken, eggs, feathers. Yeah, we're doing all right for that stuff. Loads of fish meal. I don't like the fact that this um, flower is like hovering at such a low level. I'm tempted to get some more grinders. What was I going to do down here? I'm tempted to dig out a little bit more and give them beds down here. So they don't have to go anywhere. But I, I, I don't know what these water levels are doing. I might do it on camera in case something stupidly hilarious happens. What I was thinking of doing is I could... Um, see, there's water back there that I don't want. I could just dig out a section like that and give them all... No! Oh, see what I mean? That would have flooded this entire level and I, I really don't want that. Oh, I punched that guy. I'm sorry, that guy. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do that. So, a tad awkward, but... Oh, there's, there's actually water down there as well now. Uh, hmm. How am I going to work this one out? Right, how many how many are actually here? L lots. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So before we go, uh, let's get rid of these. Oh, oh, that's it. I can do that. That way they'll get to their work quicker. I guess I could just build a miniature bunkhouse down here. Oh god, oh no. Could, you know, do this, I guess. Uh, uh, I think that's enough for that side. I don't know what things are doing on the other side either. So, that's going to be another thing. No, nope, looks good over here. All right, let's go ahead. I punched that guy again. I didn't even know you could punch the colonists. If I go... I thought I was stood in like a badly textured piece of water. I'm actually stood inside a colonist's face. Do this. Oh, don't do it. Can I dig out this back bit as well? Um... Wow, this is going to be super awkward. Let me see if I can um, do something here that works. Like this. Oh, there's actually not a lot of water back here. I thought it was all water back here, which is why I was being like really like weird with it. Let me, let me dig some of this out so at least it matches. I can do that. I can do... I don't know what's back here either. That's something I'm going to have to be quite careful with. Uh, I'm so nervous about this damn water. I, I, I think that might help. Now they don't have to walk very far to get to their beds at night, which means they don't have to walk as far in the morning to get to their jobs, which means, yeah, that they've got more, more time to actually do their jobs. <laughs> Damn fish! How many fishermen does this game think that I need? And the problem with the fish is it, it's it's item it's an ingredient for these the raw fish, and of course the cooked fish is a meal in its own. So running out is actually a pretty bad thing. That I'd prefer to you know not do. And I can get more fishermen. It's just I've got so many. Why do I need so many? Um. And now I've got 24, now I've got 8. It's all over the goddamn place. What? Yeah, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do the thing that I said I was going to do, but didn't do. Let's... Food... Uh, fisherman. If I just get two more, and then... Reallocate... One iron miner and one copper miner to be fisherman... Maybe it'll balance out a little bit. How many copper mine... Oh, God, they've all gone to bed already. Jesus. So I've got two copper miners there. I've got two copper miners and a tin miner there. How am I doing for tin? Well. <laughs> if I just, say, remove that guy and then pop down here... Uh, iron miners for days here. Uh, hmm. All right, so maybe if I just get rid of that one, he'll become a fisherman. 
maybe sort the fish situation out which will help with the stews which will help with the cooked fish which helps the happiness and how am i doing for jewelry the jewelry's still not great i am getting a little bit of extra silver which is awesome cake it's a cake that is awesome and hence awesome cake let's get all the way to the top here um i think the front's that way it is ha ha so yeah, I'm going to leave that as an episode of Colony Survival and the 0.7.1 update. It was 7, 0 0.7.0, but now, like I say, the devs did an update that changed a few things and allows workshop mods, which I've found to be fantastic. So, well, hey, thank you, devs. Awesome stuff. Yeah, and... Don't forget to like and subscribe. Awesome people do that, and if you want to be an awesome people do that i'm not really sure that made sense and i have both my thumbs up which you can't see i don't know why i'm doing that either so yeah i hope you guys all liked the episode um let me know if you've got any suggestions i don't know how many people who watch this play this but if you do play this and you're using a mod you want to see me use or if you're using a technique you want to see me use let me know in the comments section and i'll get working on that because if i can find a better way to do things i'll do things the better way i will i'll do it so um yeah i'm son of mogif this is colony survival i will be back uh i want to do a video tomorrow but i'm i've got a lot on my plate at the moment i'm kind of having a bit of a clear out before you know the holiday season so busy 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 and uh, don't know how that's going to affect my uploading schedule. It shouldn't be too bad. But either way, it'll either be tomorrow or the next day that I'll be seeing you next. What am I going to do about the bloody fish? The bloody fish are a bloody problem, bloody hell.